Teaching fractions isn't always as easy as pie, but it doesn't have to be a drag. You can liven up your math lessons with these fun and effective approaches to teaching fractions. How do you do that? Well, finding engaging methods to teach fractions can make all the difference in terms of understanding and retention. Let's explore how to teach fractions using creative and interactive strategies that will help your students grasp fractions in a way that is stinking simple. Hey there, educational rock stars. Welcome back to another episode of One Classroom Over. My mission is simple, to equip you with actionable tips, transformative stories, effective classroom systems, and expert insights for your K-5 classroom. I'm Farah, also known as the Center Fairy, your go-to guide for all things for simplifying your teacher life. Each episode dives into key facets of the teaching experience, from lesson planning and classroom management to student engagement and professional growth. If you're new here, make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button and click that bell so that you never miss out when I go live or drop a brand new video here on the channel. Today, we're diving into the topic of teaching fractions, so whether you're sipping coffee at home or binge watching while you prep lessons, crank up the volume and get ready for a dose of inspiration and empowerment. Let's dive in. Textbooks and lectures have been the go-to methods for teaching fractions for way too long. It's time for us to use engaging methods for teaching fractions to teach our students. We can do this by making learning fractions an interactive adventure. How do you do that? Well, keep listening. Teaching fractions effectively is crucial for students' mathematical development. Fractions are a fundamental concept that lays the groundwork for advanced concepts like decimals and percentages. Without a solid understanding of fractions, students may struggle in higher level math courses, which will only lead to frustration. Let's be real though, fractions are not always easy to get. Because fractions are so abstract, it can be a real challenge for students. That's why it's so important to use effective teaching methods that work for a variety of different learning styles, while being engaging at the same time. Doing this makes fractions more manageable for students because they are accessible and relatable. To make sure students are successful in math and beyond, it is important to teach fractions effectively by using engaging and interactive approaches. These are going to create understanding, critical thinking, and problem-solving skills. Before diving into how to teach fractions in an engaging way, it's important to understand the challenges that teachers and parents are going to face when introducing fractions to their students. Fractions are not black and white. One of the main challenges is their abstract nature. Unlike whole numbers, fractions represent parts of a whole, which can be difficult for students to really see. They might struggle to understand the relationship between the numerator and the denominator and how fractions compare to one another. It's also not just division. Another challenge is the misconception that fractions are just about division. Students might assume that to find a fraction, they just need to divide one number by another. This can make it harder for students to see fractions as equal parts of a whole. Additionally, fractions can be overwhelming due to the multiple forms that they have, including proper fractions, improper fractions, mixed numbers, and decimals. Students may find it challenging to navigate between these different representations and understand how they are the same. Recognizing these challenges allows teachers and parents to pinpoint their teaching methods to address specific difficulties and make sure students have a complete understanding of fractions. Introducing fractions to your students can be an exciting time as long as you have the right activities. By using fun and engaging exercises, students can develop a solid foundation in fractions while enjoying the whole learning process. I'm going to share with you a few activities to kickstart your fraction journey. First, take a slice with fraction pizza. Creating a visual representation of fractions by using pizza is a great way to teach them. Divide the pizza into equal slices and ask your students to identify different fractions based on the number of slices they are given. This activity allows students to visualize the fractions as parts of a whole. Plus, who doesn't love pizza? Next, start a war. Fraction war is a great way to gamify your fractions. How do you play a game of fraction war? All you need is a deck of cards. Assign each suit to represent a specific fraction. For example, hearts can represent halves, diamonds for fourths, clubs for thirds, and spades for eighths. Students are going to pick a card from their deck and compare the fractions to determine the winner. This activity helps reinforce fractions and comparison skills. Next up, 
Fractions Bingo. This is stinking simple, especially with all the free bingo cards out there. All you need to do is create a bingo card with various fractions on it. Call out fractions randomly, and students then mark the corresponding fractions on their cards. This activity enhances fraction recognition and reinforces the concept of equivalent fractions. These activities not only make fractions more accessible, but also provide opportunities for collaboration, critical thinking, and problem solving skills development. But above all, they are super fun and engaging. By incorporating visual elements, games, and group work, students engage with fractions in a meaningful and enjoyable way. You should also be using real life examples to teach fractions. We all know that making connections is a great way to make anything stick. This is true when you're figuring out how to teach fractions as well. Connecting fractions to real life examples helps your students understand what this mathematical concept looks like in the real world. By using familiar and relatable scenarios, you and parents can bridge the gap between abstract fractions and their everyday use. Here are some ways to incorporate real life examples into your fraction lessons. First, teach fractions through cooking and baking. You can involve students in cooking or baking activities that ask them to measure ingredients. Have your students measure and compare fractions, such as using one cup of flour versus one fourth cup of sugar. This hands-on approach demonstrates how fractions can be used in everyday tasks. Next, make it relatable with money and shopping. You can use money as a real life example to teach fractions as well. Show students how fractions are related by money and talking about coins and their values. You can create experiences where your students have to calculate prices, find discounts, or split the bill amongst their group. This can be a fun role playing activity during your math centers. Have students swap roles so everyone gets practice like they need. Next. Build fractions using architecture and design. Let your students explore architectural blueprints or design plans that include fractions. In small groups or as a whole group, you and your students can discuss how fractions are used in measurements, like when they're used to determine the length of a wall or the height of a building. This activity helps students understand fractions in terms of space and rooms. You can even have students measure things in the room and see how fractions played a big role in creating their school. By incorporating real life examples, your students can see how fractions are used in the real world. This can help students buy into the importance of fractions and maybe get them curious about fractions around them. Relating fractions to everyday situations fosters a deeper understanding and encourages students to apply their knowledge outside the classroom. Let's talk about hands-on manipulatives for learning fractions. Hands-on manipulatives provide a tangible way for students to manipulate and interact with fractions. Because we want to cater to all learning styles, it's important that we do some hands-on learning. These physical objects help students visualize fractions that they explore and the concept of parts and whole. I'm going to share with you some popular hands-on manipulatives that are going to help you teach fractions. First up, fraction bars. Fraction bars are rectangular pieces that represent different fractions. Students can physically combine and compare these bars to explore addition and subtraction and see how fractions are similar. Fraction bars come in various colors and lengths to represent different fractional values. Next, we have fraction circles. Fraction circles are circular cutouts that represent fractions. Students can stack and compare these circles to understand how fractions relate and can be equal. Fraction circles are super useful for visual learners because they're a concrete view of fractions. Then you have fraction tiles. Fraction tiles are square or rectangular tiles divided into fractional parts. Similar to fraction bars, students can manipulate these tiles to explore fraction concepts and operations. Fraction tiles come in different colors and sizes, making them engaging and versatile for various activities. Hands-on manipulatives allow students to physically work with fractions, which creates a deeper understanding of them. By manipulating fraction pieces, students can see how fractions fit together, compare sizes, and make connections between different fractional values. When you're deciding on how to teach fractions, using manipulatives is perfect because it's visual and hands-on. Incorporating technology into teaching fractions is another option. In today's digital age, technology offers an endless amount of resources and tools that make teaching and learning fractions dynamic. By incorporating interactive apps, websites, and online platforms, you can engage your students in a dynamic and interactive learning experience. Need some ideas for using technology when you're teaching fractions? Here are three of my favorites. First, fraction apps. Numerous apps provide interaction fraction games, puzzles, and quizzes that reinforce fraction concepts. These apps often incorporate visuals, animations, and gamification elements to make learning fractions enjoyable and engaging. With all three of these elements being used, you're hitting so many different learning styles. Some popular fraction apps include Motion Math, 
fractions, and slice fractions. Then there are online simulations. Online simulations and virtual manipulatives allow students to explore fractions in a digital environment. These simulations provide interactive tools that enable your students to visualize, manipulate, and compare fractions virtually. Because it's a simulation online, students can maneuver the pieces more than once with no time-wasting mess. Websites like Math Playground and the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives offer a wide range of fraction simulations. Next, get creative with your interactive whiteboard. Interactive whiteboards, such as a smart board, allow you to project fraction activities and engage students through interactive lessons. These boards allow students to physically interact with the displayed content, making fraction learning a collaborative experience. Plus, you can add a competitive edge and have students get into teams and race to compete certain tasks with fractions. By using technology, you can cater to the different learning styles, provide immediate feedback, and offer personalized learning experiences. In addition, technology is something that can be easily used at home. Technology enhances fraction lessons by adding an element of interactivity and visual representation, making abstract concepts more concrete and accessible. You can also use interactive games and apps for fraction practice. When it comes to teaching any new concept, practice makes perfect, and interactive games and apps provide an engaging way for students to reinforce their fraction skills. These games and apps offer opportunities for independent practice, immediate feedback, and skill building. Here are some of my favorite interactive games for fraction practice. First, Fraction Frenzy. This online game challenges students to match equivalent fractions by shooting them with a cannon. As the game progresses, the difficulty level increases, providing a fun and challenging way to practice how fractions can be equals. Second, Pizza Fractions. This app allows students to build and customize a virtual pizza using fractions. Students can visually explore fractions as they create their own pizza combinations, making learning fractions both enjoyable and interactive. Because pizza is something all students understand, this is a game that you can use as part of your role playing if you want to have students sell their pizzas or create different kinds of pizza on one pizza. Fraction Bingo is another favorite. Online Fraction Bingo games provide a fun way for students to practice fraction recognition and equivalency. Students compete against each other or against the computer to mark off fractions on their bingo cards. This reinforces those fraction skills. Because this can be competitive with each other or the computer, this is a great game for students to play if they have some extra time. These interactive games and apps offer a balance between entertainment, and education. By incorporating elements of gamification, students are motivated to practice fractions in a playful and engaging manner, leading to improved retention and understanding, making how to teach fractions stinking simple. Now, every student has unique learning needs and abilities, so we need to make sure that everyone is getting a chance to learn and grasp on to those tricky fractions. That's why differentiated instruction is so important. When you use differentiated instruction, it allows you to tweak your teaching methods to work for a variety of learning styles, abilities, and interests. Here are some of my favorite ways to differentiate instruction and teach fractions. First, allow for flexible grouping. There are many ways for students to be grouped. You can choose to group students based on their readiness level, interests, learning preferences. You could and should provide differentiated activities and materials to each of these groups, targeting their specific needs. For example, some students may need more support and hands-on activities, while others may need more challenging problem-solving activities. Whatever the need is, you can meet it all as long as your students are grouped in a way that makes sense. Next, varied instructional strategies. When you're learning how to teach fractions to your students, utilize a combination of instructional strategies that will work for different learning styles. Incorporate visual aids, manipulatives, technology, and real life examples to engage your students with diverse learning preferences. This approach ensures that all your students can access and understand the concept. Provide individualized support. When you're working on how to teach fractions, you'll notice as you go that some students are just going to get stuck. That's when one-on-one -on -one group or small group instruction can be a big time game changer. During this time, you can provide one-on-one -on -one support or small group instruction for students who need more help. To help students, you can offer extra practice, use guided instruction, and give personalized feedback to address individualized needs and increase understanding. By implementing differentiated instruction, you can create an inclusive and supportive learning environment where all your students can thrive. Tailoring how you teach fractions to individual needs gives students a chance to engage with fractions at their own pace and level, leading to improved comprehension, best of all, confidence.
Now let's talk about assessing understanding. Assessment plays a big role in knowing your student's understanding and progress when you're working with teaching fractions. By using a variety of assessment methods, you can really understand what students grasp and find areas of improvement and give feedback to help your students grow. Let's talk about formative assessments. You can use formative assessment techniques to collect ongoing feedback while students are learning all the aspects of fractions. These may include informal observations, questioning, exit tickets, or quick quizzes. Formative assessments help you identify anything students aren't understanding early on, making it easy to adjust your instruction. Let's talk about performance tasks. Getting students real life examples is always helpful. That's why assigning performance tasks that require students to use their fraction knowledge in real world scenarios is such a great way to assess. These tasks might have students problem solve, use critical thinking, and have mathematical reasoning. Performance tasks provide a whole view of the student's understanding and ability to apply what you've taught them about fractions. Then there's self-assessment and reflection. Sometimes what you need is to have a little self-reflection. You can and should encourage your students to reflect on their learning progress and assess their own understanding of fractions. This can be done with a survey where they rate their understanding on a scale of one to five. To make sure students aren't missing something they don't get, you can provide self-assessment tools such as a rubric or checklist. These give students a chance to evaluate their performance and set goals to get better. Plus, self-assessment helps students take ownership of their learning. By using a wide variety of assessment strategies, you can gain insight into your students' understanding of fractions and make informed decisions on how to teach them. Teaching fractions doesn't have to be a daunting task. By incorporating fun and effective approaches, you may make fractions an engaging and enjoyable learning experience for your students. From using visual aids and manipulatives to incorporating real life examples and technology, these methods encourage active participation, critical thinking, and problem solving skills. So embrace these engaging methods and get ready to go on a journey to make fractions fun and accessible for all learners. With the right approach and a sprinkle of creativity, teaching fractions becomes an exciting adventure that will help your students conquer them with ease. Now, if you're looking for more tips, strategies, and simple systems to take back into your classroom to make your life a little easier, check out the videos on your screen. Thanks for watching and keep being an educational rock star.